everybody, it's Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpen and Laser Engraving. Tonight, what I'm going to try and do is put a protective coating on my X-Tool S140 watt. So why am I doing this? Well, I don't have any complaints about this laser except for one thing. And that one thing, as many of you may have noticed, is that the glass scratches really easily. I mean really easily, like the tiniest little thing, and cleaning it even scratches it. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I have some paint protective film. So this is kind of like, almost like window tint, but it's a little bit thicker. And it's uh, what they put on cars to protect cars from scratching. And I want to see how this does uh, protecting this cover. Because... As you guys know, I have a knife sharpening shop. So, I mean, there's stuff just constantly flying around in here, whether it's be metal dust, wood dust, and there's just no way to probably keep that from just getting scratched up. And I don't want it to eventually look like complete hell. If it works well, I have, I've been very, very careful over here with my 20 watt. As you can see, there's no scratches on there. There's a what you're seeing there is actually smoke marks on the inside. But if it works well on this one, I'm going to put a clear coat on both. Uh, just because, you know, inevitably in my shop, like things get put on top of here. It just happens. Even I've even had customers come in and do it. So I figure let's do the smart thing and see if we can protect that top some. Uh, so this is a, a product called Armor Up. And we'll see how it goes. So I'm not expecting it to look as perfect as if I was doing the window tint on a car. But I'm going to try and, and do my the best I can to make it look pretty good. I put some towels down here. I do have the machine turned off, obviously. Uh, it's just going to be a little tiny water being sprayed here on the top when I, when I peel this tint off. And if you've ever done window tint, it, it's not... It's surprisingly not too difficult. I tried a different product that I hated. <laughs> uh, it was a, a self-adhesive kind of laminate, and that really didn't work well at all. It was just sticking and bubbling and getting stuck, like, literally everywhere. And so I'm just going to use, like, the method that if you've ever put, like, a you've ever had your uh, put a, a phone screen on this is kind of what they do for phone screens they put a uh, you know you take a little piece of sticky plastic and try and pick up any dust I mean there's marks and scratches on here that I just I know are not coming out already there's just nothing I can do about them um, but let's just see uh, let's see how it comes out. I'm hoping it might actually, because sometimes these things kind of fill in scratches too. So I'm hoping it might even actually look a little bit better. The good thing is when it lights up, even with these scratches, you can see inside pretty well. And that looks pretty good. I'm not going to get too crazy with it, like I said. So the process here is pretty simple. I have two uh, bottles of water of two sprayers one has a couple drops of baby shampoo in it and i have a little uh, spreading wedge and then the other one has just pure water in it and that's really all there is now from when i've done tint in the past <laughs> it's always been best to um really make sure that the film part is really wet. I'm not sure if that's the case with this stuff. I've never worked with this stuff before, but we will see. So this is basically the soapy solution. And that should be plenty. I Like I said, I don't want to get it too crazy wet. I'm more concerned about this part. All right, so what I'm going to do now is try and peel this backing off 
and then wet this whole piece is usually the best way to go. Hopefully not get it stuck to itself. And often this is the hardest part, just getting this started. There we go. All right, so I got it started. And I got all kinds of fans and everything else blowing in here. So hopefully I don't destroy this, but... trim just from my stretching probably stretch the might have stretched the film a little too much but all right but it's at least on there yeah there's definitely some stretchy spots here Alright guys, so I wanted to show you the finished protective tint film on the 40 watt and it actually came out fantastic. It hid most of the scratches because it like filled it in. I only had a couple bubbles and the biggest mistake that I made was not using enough soapy water in the beginning. So. I used what they recommended. They said three drops in a half gallon uh, using baby shampoo. It was nowhere near enough. So once I, what I actually did was after I sprayed it with water, I dipped my finger in directly into the baby shampoo and rubbed it all over the screen and then laid my film down on it. But you can see how nice this looks. It looks just a hundred percent better. The amazing thing with this film is it's very forgiving, but the other thing, uh, they, they call it um, self-healing. And it's really amazing. If you keep rubbing it with a, like a microfiber cloth, it actually like, if there's a little scratch, it kind of comes, the scratch comes out and just goes away. And I do have a couple air bubbles like little teeny tiny ones like I'll show you one here so there's a couple here but you can uh, take like a needle like a sewing needle and you can pop that and you can push that little bit out it's actually it's actually not I'm, I call it an air bubble but it's really not an air bubble you can see my finger <laughs> my fingerprint on there I'll just show you uh, how nice this stuff wipes off though so you see my little fingerprint there and I'll just wipe that and it's gone. You can see I can still see in here real well. So the, the thing with um, this is that's actually fluid in there. There's still some water trapped in there. So if you pop it and they give you a little uh, squeegee that looks like this and it's got a little bit of like really smooth velvety cloth on one side and plastic on the other and this is what you spread it out with. And then you can work on these little imperfections and get most of them out. Now, I'm going to do my 20 watt, but I have to tell you like this, if you have a very scratched up cover on your S1, this will get rid of almost all the scratches and protect it. So I am very, very happy with how this came out. I am going to do my 20 watt, which has no scratches but just to protect it because like I said I have a metal shop you know in here I, I do mostly knife sharpening and laser engraving but the knife sharpening and working on knives 
throws all kinds of abrasives around <clears throat> and was really wreaking havoc on the top of these light lasers and I really like being able to shoot through them and videos and everything else because it's actually pretty cool so that's what I did I'll leave a link to the product that I used once again it was called armor up I got 12 by 72 and the 12 covered right from here so it didn't cover all the way up this little strip up here but it covers perfectly from there to this edge is 12 inches and if you get uh, the 12 by 72 it comes in different sizes so you can get enough to just do one uh, I bought 72 because I wanted to do both lasers so it does come in all different sizes you can get you can get a smaller size and it's not terribly expensive once again though number one recommendation use lots of soapy water don't hold back on the soap soap up that piece of film really well soap up your screen really well put plenty of towels and stuff down but if you do that you'll probably get it on first time with no problems unlike the two times i had it stuck to itself and had to redo uh, and pull it off and then soap it all up again but fortunately as you can see this stuff is very forgiving and still let me get a really nice protective coating on top of this s1